Morning, Dax. Morning, David. It's uh, back to the old days, really. Here we are in your office, office. saying good morning, I doing a no. catch up. Just on a Thursday, you know, instead of a Friday, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's, it's we'll probably, right. probably going to vary a bit, but anyway. Yeah. First of all, how's your legs after the weekend? Oh, it was good. Um, Casey done well, didn't he? And then back with Steve McEwen, good. Um, Scotty and Lloyd were very good. Uh, I was the worst out of them, I think. Uh, it's just because I haven't trained for it. The last time I went on the bike was the previous time, two years ago. So I, yeah, I didn't stop my out like that, but I felt really tough. But that's yeah, raised money for the club and, uh, and the hospice, sorry. And then all for a good cause, went back to Gabby Bolly afterwards and celebrated then. So it was all good stuff, you know, so I'm pleased. I was actually genuinely slightly surprised that you let Casey do 100 miles. He's happy, I'm trying to get him injured, aren't I? So I can get him <laughs> off the team, you know what I mean? So it's, uh, no, he's fit, is he? Like, he tra- I tell you what, he's, uh, oh, can I have Monday off? No, it's your choice doing the right. And he trained, he was trained great on Monday, absolutely fine. So he's done 100 miles, he's played Saturday, he's done 100 miles on Sunday, trained very well on Monday. That's what, yeah, but because, you know, our players are late, or you know, our players are late in general. They'll do something like that, they cramp up a little bit, they want three weeks off and all that because they've got cramps. So you felt the case he's, he's got and done it and he's fighting today, he's training today, so he's all, all right. Um you, you know your players and all that, you know, and, um we'll help them do what and all that, you know, but I think he found it quite easy. But I didn't I found it hard. Me personally I found it hard. Yeah. Okay, let's turn to football. Um in recent weeks there's been two or three of your colleagues, other team managers, who've used words like direct and land of the giants when, oh, yeah. when talking about Woking. How, how do you react to that? It's funny, some of these kids are funny. The new kids on the block, obviously under pressure because they've got big budgets. And football's changed now. You know, they come and they shake your hand and they dress up. You know, you dress up as if you're taking your granny out on a Sunday. You know, when you're taking your granny out on a Sunday, you want to be respectfully dressed, don't you? And that's how we address. They, they, they have got to compete for nine hours a day. Look at how a team plays. They don't expect us to compete. Yeah, being what we are, and instead of just saying well done working, like it's the highest defeat Notts County's ever had, since they've been in this league, can't be a fluke guys, if it, what, if it was a fluke, doing it against Chesterfield as well, you saying that's a fluke and all, and all of a sudden Dagenham Redbridge and all that you know, and I thought what unlucky on Saturday, so um, the problem is that, you know, I had it all last season where I had to swallow everything and take everything, but I, I just ignored it, I, I, like as we win games, I let the kids do the um, year and all that, do the interviews because I feel the like job's done, I've done less interviews because I feel so I was putting pressure on the players because I do where me heart me sleeve a bit and um, I think people are getting you know turning me what I was seeing around if you like and then um, yeah, but direct unbelievable um, you know it, it, I want to say if there's anybody want to sit down here and have a look on the, the game with us and we'll have a look and when it was right to go direct your back three you want them to be strong and physical and head them out because the club got relegated a couple of years ago because they couldn't do that in the right areas want to pass the ball got some good players who can pass it and move it and yes want to get balls in the box and, and score off set players of course we do we've got a personnel to do that but I, but I, but just a, it's a general manager now. We come from this. They probably come from St George's Hill. Not that stuff. We're probably in this coaching family. I think they call it a coaching family now. Where all these young kids get together and they think they'll be managers. Um, it, it, the projects. That's another one. They've probably got projects at their clubs. So our project here is to win the next game. The projects want to get at them clubs. You know, they last for five years. I, I can tell John Gatt and Rose maybe. I want a project for the next five years. It keeps on the job for five years, doesn't it? You know that stuff. So uh, that's what they do. But that, that's what. These young managers come and do, and you know, like, I just, there's some great ones out there, and all that, you know, like, um, good cracks, and all that, you know, and, uh, I was with Gavin Rose the other day, and a friend, and all that, and good banter, him and Julia Caddy, good crack, and all, but you get the higher go, you get these blokes, and like you see, the way they dress, and the way they conduct themselves, and the way they are, and the way they make excuses, and the way they work. So that's where I come from, anyway. I'll, I'll be open as a book. If we didn't play well, I'll tell you, if we do do well, um, I think we've had a great season at the minute, that's honest truth. I think we've been in every game, um, got people by the odd goal on a couple of occasions. Runa wants to get in, Rose maybe wants to get in the top 12, I believe we'll do that, to be honest, and um, it's up to us. Do you think, um, given the sort of second half, last third of the season, last season, when we basically lost every week, yeah. near, near on, has, has led to other teams totally underestimating us? I think uh, what I had to do, what I had to do, and I said I would do it, um, that would take was awful because I was getting scalped on my head and all that, you know, but I knew what I was doing because I trusted the board that I could have the money for this year to put into full time football, the food, everything that goes with it. Remember, I haven't got millions, and, um, and some of these have got millions. Well, most of the lads were playing the last couple of weeks got millions. And, um, you know, everybody thought, oh yeah, don't look, I'd sign 13 players, let 12 go. I think we've got a better side all round, and um, I think the, the, the disrespect well done. Now, they make excuses, that's what they do, because if you're in charge of the biggest club, what they call themselves these days, 
and then even though they've been here a few years, some of them, um, they, they do look at people like us a little bit differently. So, but I ignore them, you know, I just, you know, it's just uh, the way these kids are. Like, you know, we'll be wearing the waistcoats next and all that, you know, I might do it myself, I might wear a suit next year and put a waistcoat on, I might get a, uh, involved in a big job then, mate, you know what I mean? <laughs> I can't say it personally. No, no, I don't worry, David, I'm going to get <laughs> I'll let Nick it from some anyway, but I? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not nicking your club or whatever happens. No, no, definitely. I think I'll get not. kicked out the ground. I think. 95, 99% of supporters would have looked at that runner game and said, nine points from 12, we'll have that, and snap your hand off. You would say you want to win every game yep. and that you were disappointed to miss out on three points, but really, in your heart of hearts? Ah, because I've just, because of, let's see what we've had to put up for the last couple of years, or ever since I've been at the club, no ambition to get the Football League, let's get the cards on the table, no ambition to compete at the top, just going year by year, board being great. But it's the first time we believe as a board director as anything else that we can um, have a go at all games. So I, I sort of say to the players, it's great what they've done, but we're nearly going to be sold at Wrexham, nearly. We're nearly going to be sold, sadly should have done, but I'm not after nearly. I want to get on the hood a lot, and I want the players to have that mentality and all. So I said before kick-off, what you'll do, you get a partner back anyway. You know, I, 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 in the game, guaranteed, you'll get a partner back, and people say, I'll tell you what, what a great run, just like you are saying there. Go and win the game. Go and win a game, that's what we're here for. So, like Saturday, a massive game for a football club, go, go and win them. And that's how I felt after Saturday. But, yes, not taking away from the effort the lads have put in, the chances maybe we created a tight game against two good sides. I think we were complimenting about us, we were complimenting about them. We think they're good sides. But, yeah, I just don't like losing games. And um, last season, I accepted it. This season, I've used all my budget because there's no good me not using it because I had to get the players, I had to try to get in. How well we'll do depend on injuries. How well we'll do it depends if we can um, recoup again and get some more money in from somewhere, like with mixed sponsorships and things like that. We will. So um, it's, um, that's how we'll have a go. And obviously, the FA Cup runs are massive. Of course. We'll turn to that shortly. Um, the, the league table makes quite interesting viewing, I think, in that there are some of the obvious teams up there, e.g. E Grimsby, clearly. Yeah. Um, but also in the sort of playoff slots, you've got Boreham Wood, um, Altrincham. We're, we're thereabouts, hmm. and, and Halifax, and Bromley. And, uh, I think they've got the, them. Are uh, there any of those uh, names surprising, including us? Not Bournemouth does not Bromley it doesn't. Halifax, yeah, we, we've done it last year, didn't we? Yeah. We've got, we've got the playoffs last year. Altman, we've got a good young side. I think we'll be the dark horses, in my opinion, looking at all the teams. I think they're a good side. No, not really. It's still early days. Like, it's still like, This time, the last couple of years, we've been top of the league. And because when October, November, December comes, the fitness levels have dropped. That's no excuse for us now because we're fit and uh, you know there'll be, be no dropping this year from the fitness side of things. So you know, that, that didn't surprise us. That, you know, Stockport are going to be in it. Yeah, Mex will be in the top seven. Stockport will be in the top seven. So there'll be a few we we'll let it give way. Yeah. Um, well, it's on top of the uh, getting the nine points from twelve, we've had uh, an exceptional run from Tav getting two games goals per game practically. Um, he seems to be watching his goals. He seems to be someone who snaps up half chances. Oh, he's done well. He's got it better. I'm on him. I'm on him a bit, like you know, where he's done it for three, four years. He hasn't not what his ability should do. So in the summer, it wasn't one of them. We got him down for a week or so. We had a chat with him. We didn't sign him straight away because he couldn't couldn't sign anywhere. So we give him an opportunity, get yourself settled, give him an opportunity to play. He needs chances. He's no good on the half wheeling. He needs to be around the 18 yard box, which would do it. Played off big innie as well. Um, I so he's done well, but there's still plenty more to come if he wants to be a player and he wants to get back up there. You can't just do it in a month of the season. Um, when you haven't done anything for two, two or three years, he's got to keep doing it. And he's, he's done it, but great to work with. Great lad to work with. Great personality. We've looked after him massively. We've put him up somewhere. We have. He's doing very well for the football club at this minute. Um, but the bottom line is, eight goals. No, I can't get 25 goals and we'll have a chat from there. Okay. Um, I can remember in one of these chats a few weeks ago you saying that uh, once Tyreek Johnson and Jamal Loza were fit, they would both be in your first 11. Yeah. Well, neither of them still are quite a few weeks later. Because of this one free on the spin against the top yeah. side, if they want, yeah. it would be in it. Are they no. both fully fit? We played 90 minutes on Tuesday in the behind closed door game. Probably lacking a little bit still, maybe a little bit, but uh, you know, Christian's a good gauge on it, so I wouldn't say a fully fit, no, but I think they're getting there. And uh, Tyreek's there's an exceptional player who come on and done things at Notts County, which you can do. But if you win games at Notts County 4-1 and you beat Chesterfield 3-1, like we haven't chat before, then you know, we, will, we will get a chance. You know, if we lost on Saturday, then on a skin there, for example, then um, I'm actually going to get in the following week. That's how football works. OK, let's turn to Saturday then. 
Um, it's the classic cup scenario where where in a round or two, if we're still in it, we're very likely be a massive underdog against somebody. Yeah. But it's the other way around. Said, this aye, set, aye. We've watched them, we've done it, we're studying them. We're going to train on Ashford Turf pitch now across the road at the college because that's how we have played. Got some good players. Sam Howe's a good player. You know, Tommy Kavanagh, I know, in midfield, he ain't bad. They've got a good togetherness about them. Um, they work very hard for each other. Uh, they beat Kingstonian, who are top of the league in the cup. They beat Eastbourne, who are Copland South top 10. So uh, we're not going there, we're just going there to win the game. That's all we've got. We're going to try to win the game against a good set. It'll be a big crowd there. All support them, except for our. Lots who should make noise as well, um, but it'll be a big crowd. I'll look forward to the game. But I haven't look at it. It's FA Cup's massive. For a chairman or a manager, the saddest year um, of the season is when you get knocked out of the FA Cup. Because yeah. you, you've got to remember the money wallet and bring in, the poor fellow and bring in. Like he has us like saying, like, now they want to get the town set up behind me, which we are, and the fans are supporting us, which I do appreciate. If you want to make it really proper, do well in the FA Cup, like we did against Watford. Sure. Is it better to be the underdog or to be the overdog, if there is such a word? Because essentially, if you were the overdog, you should, should win, win the game. game. Ah, you know, imagine looking at the tables and that we should, because on the table. But we're not just taking anything lightly, we're not going to go, I'm not making changes and all that, you know. People say, we're going to make five or six changes, no, we won't. I'll be playing the full strength of what's available to go and have a go at them. Um, you know, have you got anything to lose? No, not really. Uh, but I have got a game of football to lose, I suppose. But we're not be really taking anything, you know. Like anybody offered me 90 minutes, 1 0, I'll take it now. That's the way football is in the FA Cup. You need luck, you do, which we're hard. You need to sustain it, which we hopefully we can. But I'm not, est we're not estimating them at all. I think I've got a decent side, and uh, you know, uh, 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 no mugs would go and beat Kingstonian. After two games and all, after two games, and no mugs would beat Eastbourne over two games. Yeah, one, one off games, a replay against Kears and a replay against Eastbourne, so they're not bad side. Great, okay. Well, thanks for your time this morning. Good to Good see up. you here again, and uh, we'll all meet up on Saturday. Ready? You meet me late, David, because I'll get a thing for being late. I think you've made us two minutes late, so if you can pay my thing, that'd be fantastic. <laughs> thanks so much.